Okay, let me know if you guys can hear me. We are live. Uh, this is Monday, April 18th, 2022. And let's see, let me hit Command R. There we go. Okay, I'm live, I can see it. Okay, I'm live. I can... Rut row. Okay. Okay, Dawn, can you hear me? And uh, Joan and Lori. Okay, so you guys can hear me? Yes, I'm feeling better. It's crazy. Um, I feel like I've been a, in a cocoon, cocoon um, for, what, a week and a half now? My voice sounds so much better. It, it is not normal. And um, I will warn you that when I cough, which I'm sure that I will, um, I sound like a barking dog. <laughs> Uh-oh. I shouldn't laugh because that, um, that makes me cough. Okay, so give me just a minute. What I'm going to do is, um, while you guys are signing on, um, I'm going to post the link over to Facebook because since I've made this change, um, just going live over here on YouTube, I want to give them um, the link if they want to hop on over here to see us. So give me just a second. Thank goodness I have my desktop here. Um, here we go. Okay. Um, I'm just going to say we are live. Boom. Post. Okay, how are y'all doing? I, I started feeling better and then I got worse again. So I think I kind of overdid it one day. Uh, although a lot of people have been saying um, that this cold slash flu or whatever has been lasting a couple weeks. Um, but I feel better. The main thing is that I don't have a headache now. So it's like, it's okay if I have a cough or whatever, but, um, the headache was the worst. Okay. So I hope a little, a little, a couple of housekeeping notes. Um, I posted on my blog today, uh, that I was going to post several other, um, blog posts today. And, um, none of it happened. I forgot that today was the final tax day. And like I said previously, we always wait till the last minute to pay since we have to pay. Um, and so I actually had to scoot out of here today and go um, pay some money to our tax people and what have you. So I was gone for a few hours and that set me back even more. So I did not get... Um, Chick Candy, what is this? So Chick Candy 138. I know that's backwards. Um, or I think it is. No, it's actually not backwards. It's right side up for y'all, but it's backwards to me. Okay, anywho. So as soon as I sign off tonight, I am going to get this Chick Candy posted. Um, and let me show you what it is. So it's one of the brand new stamp sets called Sweet Songbird. This is one of my favorites. It does have a coordinating punch, but I cannot order two of those. Um, so it's going to be the Sweet Songbirds stamp set and the Mischievous Mice stamp set, which we are using tonight. This is still in the current uh, mini catalog, uh, a chick stand, and then this basket, this fabric basket that I made. So... Um, all of that is Chick Candy 138, and to enter to win, you can either leave a comment on this blog post, which is not there yet, so I'll be adding it tonight, and then um, if you place an order between today and Sunday, you get two entries for every 50, okay? So the comment is free. So there's Chick Candy 138. Um, let's, um, where's my joke? Here it is. Okay, so I have a, I have a couple jokes for y'all and then we'll do um, some more housekeeping. Um, 
I hope I hadn't already told these. It's really crazy that you can forget things that you said like literally a week ago. But anywho, here we go. Uh, why don't ants get sick? Maybe I've already told this. Because they have little antibodies. And then the next one is, why can't you borrow money from a leprechaun? Because they're always a little short. Maybe I did already say these. And if I'm repeating myself, I'm so sorry. I'm going to do better in the future. I, I started an Evernote file and then I forgot that I started it. So I need to go back and pull that Evernote file up. Um... Today we're using Box Template 75, and um, it's going to be available tomorrow. So tonight I'm going to post the chick candy, but tomorrow I'll post the printable, which will look really pretty, and the box template. So please come back to my website tomorrow. Pretty please. That's all. That's all my notes. So I'm going to switch the camera around, and then we're going to make this cute little box. Um, does anybody have any questions before we get started? What I'm going to do is uh, turn the camera to face my hands. I still feel like I'm forgetting to tell y'all something, but as y'all know, I've been sick forever. Not forever. It feels like forever, right? Um, so this is my first live in what? A week and a half? Maybe just a week. I don't know. Did I go live at all last week? I don't know. Um... Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera down. So give me just a minute. I always forget how to do this. I, at some point, I will remember, I think. I don't know. Uh, face it up, switch it. Up. Oh no, what did I just do? <laughs> Girl. Uh-oh, I broke my, <gasps> grr, y'all are going to kill me. Well, I got, I got problems here. Something is going on with this Dumaflachi. Okay, you know what? Hold on, guys. I'm so sorry. I am going to abandon. Sorry if you get uh, motion, sickness, uh, motion sickness. Hopefully, it's better now. Sorry about that. <coughs> oh, hold on just a second. <coughs> Okay, are y'all still there? I didn't lose you, did I? Peace, let me know you're there. <laughs> yeah, I promise I feel better. I just have that, um, that bark, that cough that is crazy. Um, okay, let me turn on some lights really quick. Hopefully y'all are not in a hurry tonight. Um, okay, come on, light. Rut row. That's the wrong color. Well, there we go. And this light, and this light, and this light. I know y'all are probably thinking, goodness gracious, how many lights does she have? I have 16, just in case y'all are wondering. <laughs> um, Okay, what am I doing? I'm going to give y'all the supplies. I started getting um, everything organized, and then I ran out of time. So I've, I've been typing these because I can't add... Um, I can't add words to a live video. You know what I mean? So I've been typing them. 
so that y'all could see the measurements on screen. Cause I had a couple people say, I miss it. I miss when you used to post all the measurements on the screen. I know me too, but I can't add them to a live video. Um, so we have sweet sorbet. This is a new color that's gonna be available to, wait, it's blurry? It's not blurry on my end. Is it really blurry? Hmm. Um, it's still blurry. Okay, so Karen says it's not blurry there. Maybe hit, um, hit command. Wait, if you're on a PC, I don't really know what you hit. I think if you're on a PC, hit com uh, control R. And if you're on a Mac, hit command R. Just refresh your screen. Um, okay, so Sweet Sorbet will be available on May 3rd if you're a customer. Uh, demonstrators, we can already pre-order it. And, um, and then the Glimmer Paper. Oh, I know what I was gonna tell you now. My paper shares. So this is some of the paper that's gonna be available in my paper share. So this is the Designer Series Paper Assortment. This is the new in color. So this is the Sweet Sorbet color. And then this is the Glimmer Paper. And I'm including that also in my shares. I usually don't do specialty paper because it's kind of, the measurements are always kind of wonky. The Glimmer Paper is easy um, to include in my shares. So. This is the DSP assortment in color, and this is the Glimmer. You're gonna love the Glimmer. Let me show them to you real quick. I know most of you probably already saw my um, haul video, but anyway, aren't these beautiful? Yeah, okay, so back to the supplies. So Sweet Sorbet, and then we are using the new dies called Stylish Shapes for our stitch circle and our stitched, I don't know what that's called, it's a greeting. And then we're also using this new Baker's Twine, that's the new in color one as well. Okay, so let me get all these little labels out of here and we will stamp first. Hopefully I can stamp um, inside this little space. Uh, Marianne says, uh, the new catalogs, that is a great question. I paid Stampin' Up to mail them to all y'all and the mail is super slow. Um, in fact, it's probably slower than a snail. Um, is there anything slower than a snail? A sloth? Is a sloth slower than a snail? <laughs> um, and I'm actually not joking either. I'm laughing, but I'm not joking because y'all know it's super slow. In fact, I think it took two weeks for me to get my birthday card uh, from, from my daddy. I don't know that I ever told him that it, it took forever to arrive. It doesn't matter. I got it. Um, okay, so we're going to stamp this little mouse. Yeah, so Marianne, I promise you, I paid Stampin' Up to mail it to you, and you should be getting it very soon. I do have a spreadsheet of everyone um, that I paid Stampin' Up to mail it to you, so I can confirm. If you've not ordered from me in forever, then I didn't. If you've ordered from me recently, like the last six months, and Marianne, you have, uh, then I paid Stampin' Up to mail it to you. Oh, not too bad. It's a little crooked, but that's okay, because we're kind of making it crooked on there, so it'll be fine. Yeah, I have a spreadsheet of everyone. Oh, yeah, and a lot of mail is missing, too, which is, oh, so Sue says she got hers last week. Okay, I always send myself one also. I'm going to color this now. So we're using lots of blends. Um, we're using gray granite, crumb cake, sweet sorbet, daffodil, and flirty flamingo. I know you're looking at that saying, saying seriously, you used that many markers on that little mouse? I did. So we're going to start with the crumb cake and we're going to color the pencil. Hopefully y'all can see this. Um, yeah, so there's the pencil. So we're done with 
crumb cake. Now we're gonna take the dark daffodil. Yeah, so I always uh, send myself one too. I pay for Stampin' Up! to send me one so that I'll know when they're, when the shipping has begun. And I got mine last week. And then I heard from several customers that they got theirs last week. I don't know how those things get sent out. I don't know if it's, I'm usually the last one to get anything, to be honest. The fact that I got it last week is shocking. Um, I don't know how the company, I don't know how it works. I wish I could tell you. Um, light flirty flamingo for the inside of his ears. And then the sweet sorbet for the end of the pencil. I guess you could call that the eraser. Duh. And then now we're going to take the light gray granite. Okay, hold on. I got a cough. <coughs> Sorry. If there was any way I could edit that out, I would. I wish I could just hit the mute button too. Okay, now the last one, I'm just gonna get the um, dark gray granite and just kind of go around the outline of the little mouse. Did I tell y'all about the mouse that we had in our house? Oh, I'd never in my life, well, I take that back. When I was a child, when I, when I was living on the farm, it was not uncommon for mice to come into the house. Um, but we had one here and, whew, goodness gracious. Very dra traumatic. <laughs> Not for men, but for women, right? Okay, so we're gonna add this image to our um, glimmer, scallop, glimmer, glimmer scallop circle, scallop circle. <laughs> I'm no longer taking Mucinex or Afrin or anything other than Tylenol and Ibuprofen. Okay, we're going to give that a second to dry. Uh, Kathy, I'm going to post my paper shares tomorrow. I was going to post them today, and I just, I, I ran out of time having to go pay our taxes and stuff. So tomorrow, along with uh, my blog post that's going to have all the details. Oh, I didn't show y'all what's in here. Look, crackers, cheese crackers. Um, so when I was growing up, these were called nabs. And I never really knew why they were called nabs. I just knew that that's what we called them. In fact, you know, sometimes I'll say, just go get a go get a pack of nabs, and that'll hold you over. You know, because if you don't have time to eat a full meal, nabs are perfect. Um, but I had to Google it to figure out why they were called nabs because someone asked me like a long time ago when I was doing a live video. Someone asked, and I'm like, I have no clue why they're called that. Um, they're called that because Nabis Nabisco, Nabisco, I guess, came up with the term because it's short for Nabisco, but then they abandoned that name in the late 70s, early 80s, which that kind of short, kind of sort of shows my age, right? Um, so the younger generation don't really know the term nabs and maybe not people that live, um, I don't know. Y'all tell me. Have you ever called cheese crackers nabs? Okay, so we're going to put this on the seven inch side and uh, we're going to score it at one inch and three inches. And we're going to do that on both sides. So turn it around, keeping it on the portrait side, one and three. And then on the landscape side, we're going to score it at a half an inch and one and a half, and we're gonna do that on both sides of the landscape side. So half an inch and one and a half. Oh, girl, I jumped the track. It's been forever since I've done that. Okay, hold on. I don't want my box to look ugly tonight. 
Just give me just a hot minute, okay? I can do this really quickly, I promise. Seven. Somebody's gonna watch this video and say, slow down. Okay, seven by eight. See, if I could just rewind these live videos, that'd be perfect, right? Okay, portrait side, one and three. One and three on both sides. One and three. Then on the landscape side, a half an inch and one and a half. Half an inch and one and a half. Okay, there we go. That only, that only took like 30 more seconds, right? Okay, so um, y'all have heard of NABs. Good, it's not just me, right? Okay, so I'm folded on the score lines. Okay, and then some have never heard it. Well, you can Google it. It was a, a term that was very popular back in, I guess, the 70s, which is when I was um, a child. Okay, now, this is the side that we're gonna work on, okay? And let me show you the one that I've already cut in advance. So that's how it's gonna look when we're done cutting it. And then here is our box template. So as it's setting here, this is that, okay? So rounded corners, we're gonna place our adhesive on these two, or these two, this is four, not two. So these four tabs, um, okay. So let me get my scissors oh, right here. Well, I better get it back over here because otherwise I will forget what I'm doing. So I'm gonna turn it on the side like this to cut because this is the, the front, that's this piece here, um, but we have to turn it sideways to cut it. So. I'm gonna cut on each of these score lines, and then I'm gonna remove this entire section. Same thing on this side, so just repeat the same process over here. Okay, now a little bit more cutting. So we're gonna fold these sides in right there, and then we want to trim the tabs. So we're gonna whack off that part, which is on the score line, and then we're gonna trim the tabs on the left and the right. And we're gonna do this on both sides. <clears throat> Same thing on this side. So trim. And trim and then the left and the right I guess sometimes I call that angle cutting <clears throat> okay now we're gonna round these corners the detail trio punch is retiring sadly I wonder if it's already sold out Okay, so let's fold these tabs in and then we're gonna put our tear and tape on there. So I have to tell y'all, I gave, I don't know if y'all, um, like the one of the worst parts about having a cold is sleeping at night and being able to breathe. And um, I gave Brooke my wedge pillow um, when she moved. And so when you have a cold, you really, <coughs> you really need, sorry, that just sounded so loud. Um, you need to prop your head up and pillows just don't do it. And so 
after several nights of not sleeping, I finally broke down and went on Amazon and ordered myself a wedge pillow. And I was reading all these comments, and I really needed it the next day. I couldn't, I couldn't go through another night and not be able to sleep because I couldn't breathe. Um, so I ended up buying something that had really awful ratings because it was the only one I could get the next day. But it turns out that um, after a couple hours, the thing poofed right up. Like, yeah, it arrived a little bit, but in two hours, it was, it was fine and it was perfect. And I slept on it for like four or five nights. Um, so yeah, if you, if you need a wedge pillow and you need it overnight, I can help you out. Even though it had bad ratings and people said that it didn't work, it did work. Okay, let me get the crackers. But oh, row, here they are. My husband likes the cheese ones. I like the peanut butter ones. And I like all brands. This just, just happened to be, um, I think there's an Alston's brand that I normally buy at our grocery store. Okay, give me one second. I have got to get a tissue. I'm better, but I still have the effects of a cold. I seriously had the flu. Okay, now let's get all of our pieces in here. We're almost done. Uh, we're gonna add our designer series paper to make this box pretty. I'm gonna use my liquid glue. And when I'm done making the project, I promise I will scroll back and look at y'all's questions. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna attempt that right now. <laughs> the measurements of the final box. It's on my PDF. Is five and an eighth by two by one. Okay, so five and an eighth, um, two inches, and then one inch. Yeah. It's a nice size box. I always say that though, don't I? <laughs> yeah, so uh, blog, blog, what am I saying? I'll post on my blog, The Chick Candy, tonight. And then tomorrow you'll have the printable for this project, the box template, and then my paper shares. I'll be offering six by 12, six by six, just like normal. Okay, now, Baker's Twine. I'm so excited to have Baker's Twine again. Um, I'm gonna use two pieces, approximately um, eight inches each. Let's see, come back here. I gave myself a little more than eight inches just because I don't wanna mess up tying this bow. Okay, we'll set that aside for a minute. Put this back in here. And then we're gonna pop this up with a dimensional. Wow, my watch just made a noise. It has not been making noises lately. In fact, I told David that I think I need a new one. Okay, there's that. And then we have our embellishment. So this is uh, the new, what are they called? In color matte decorative dots. So these two will be available on May 3rd, starting on May 3rd. You could use rhinestones um, if you prefer. I love monochromatic, you already know that. 
Okay, now for our uh, little ribbon twine, I should say, I'm going to trim the ends. And then we're just going to add it with a glue dot. Whoops. Okay, I'm just going to wad it up a little. Isn't it so cute? Okay, what questions do you guys have for me? Uh, scroll back now and look at all the comments. Um, so Chris said, can you get chick rewards if you order paper shares? Uh, Chris, I'm sorry, you cannot. Because I use the benefits um, to pay, to help me pay for the paper shares. Yeah. So I don't include those. Um, uh, host code gifts are not eligible um, for paper shares and chick rewards are not either. Yeah. I can't because it's, um, yeah, I can't. <laughs> I have a hard time explaining it tonight, but but no, and I usually post that on the blog. Um, when I announce them, I'll, I'll put in fine print that they're not. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm forgetting to click on live chat. So let's look at the live chat. Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. I think it's so cute. And I don't think that I've made um, a box this size. Now, if this little gap bothers you, this one's not gapping near as much, I think because the way I folded it. But if that bothers you, you could always put a belly band around it. I do need a hot toddy, don't I? Except a hot toddy has alcohol. And when you have the flu and a cold, you don't need anything messing with your stomach. <laughs> um... Thank you, Carol. I'm glad you like it. Um, Deborah says she likes the peanut butter too. Um, where is my blog? Well, welcome, new person. Uh, so my blog is Chicken Scratch. So it doesn't have the K and it doesn't have the E, but it's Chicken Scratch. So chickenscratch.com. I should probably call it website. I never know what, what's the difference between website and blog. I guess a blog is, I don't know. What is the difference? Um, let's see. Can you give us the measurements? Okay, I gave you the measurements of the box. Uh, Vicki says, whatever will we do without a corner rounder? I guess we'll start recommending people to go to Amazon to purchase um, a corner rounder, right? Yep. Uh, let's see. I'm just looking for questions now. And if you guys posted a question and I somehow skipped it, you're welcome to uh, post it again. What time is it? Oh, I didn't even really go over, did I? And I don't see any other questions. Um, so one is the website, the other is... Um, huh. When is the next bingo? Jamie, I do not know. Uh, that is a great subject to talk about tonight. So, my, um, I'm going to have to take a trip to Tennessee. I have some family members that's not doing well. And, um, I'm going to have to put a couple things on hold until I can get home. So I can't get, I can't schedule any events right now until I know more. Um, yeah. So I don't know. And I say that every time, don't I? And then I wait at the last minute and I say, okay, we're doing bingo. That's kind of how my life has to work right now. I just kind of have to work around my husband's schedule, my family's schedule. And yeah, the, yeah, it's, I wish I could say in May because that's when the new catalog goes live and I would really like to focus on 
the um, one of the new stamp sets, like either the elephants or the songbirds. This one would make a really cute um, event, but I cannot set a date right now until I know more. Yeah. Um, any other questions for me? Thank you. Um, no, so Brenda, the let me show you the the old ones because um, I have them here. If you're talking about the stitch shapes, so here's the old ones, and then here's the new ones. So they are very different in size. Um, yeah, they're very different. I think I did a sheet with measurements. Can somebody remind me? So here's the old stitch shapes, and they're very different sizes. So there's only four circles here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six here. And, and as you can see, there's more squares. They are all different measurements. Um, I, I still use these, by the way. I will never get rid of these because I, I love them. But th we can't sell them anymore. They're not available. But yeah, they are different sizes. That was a good question. I keep looking at the attendance and I'm like, where's all my people? They're so used to seeing me on Facebook, but I'm I'm in the retraining uh, phase since all my stuff keeps getting deleted over there. Yeah, the old ones are larger. Although, if you look, we have this one right here is actually um, just a smidge larger than the old one. Yeah. Okay, well, it looks like y'all don't have any other questions, right? Let me take one more scroll back just to make sure. Uh, my next scheduled uh, live video is going to be um, next Monday. I'm not doing Wednesdays right now because I'm going to fit in a pre-recorded video for y'all. So it'll be a, a cute project, but it'll be pre-recorded instead of live. Okay, if there's no more questions, I'm going to go ahead and sign off and go have some dinner. You guys have a great night, and don't forget, tomorrow there'll be the free printable on my website, and then paper shares, and then later tonight there'll be uh, chick candy. Right, row. Uh, one, th what did I say? Chick candy 138. Okay, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to get notifications. Thank y'all so much.